All right, it's time for Science in Pajamas again with Miss Komar. Today we're looking at human cheek cells. So what I did was I put a drop of methylene blue dye on a glass slide. And then I use a toothpick to gently scrape some cells from the inside of my cheek. Then I used the, the toothpick and just rubbed it inside the dye, put a cover slip on, and bada bing, bada boom, we got cells on the slide. Now please bear with me while I'm trying to get the video or the phone so you can see the cells. Now all those purple things you see are human cheek cells. I'm currently on scanning. So you can see the widest amount or the widest view with the least amount of focus. We're going to try and find, ooh, there looks like a good cell. See lots and lots of cells because I'm a good cheek scraper. I'm good at getting cells off, off my cheek, my mouth cheeks. I know someone out there has a dirty mind. Notice I am also taking pictures as I go. My genetics kids have to take pictures as they go. So it's just a way for them to kind of follow along. Especially if they were absent, they can kind of use this to help them. So I moved up to low power. all these clusters of cells. Trying to kind of look at all the ones we can see. That's what I was looking for. You notice that thread or um, what's it called? Fibrous, whatever. Ah, come back here. No, oh, my phone is sliding. Ah. I was using that as a marker for that rather nice looking cell right above and to the left of it. Look that one right there. It's got a very nice nucleus in the middle of it. Let's see if we can catch her that one on high power. This may be where it gets a little tricky. I'm trying to find her on high power. I know I'm not exactly centered. My phone camera isn't exactly centered. I no, I lost the view. I lost the view. There we go. I might just have to be deal with whatever I can get. Let's see if we can get a cell at this point. A, a good cell. Maybe not the same cell, but a good cell. Ah, crud monkeys. Yep, we just connected. Hold on one moment, let me try and get back on. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, almost, almost had it back.
trying. This is the tricky part. Trying to get a single good cell in there. Into view. It is not an easy task when you are. Oh my goodness. Bear with me. Bear with me, guys. I'm, I swear I'm trying. I'm trying. I will get it eventually. I have to just go back to low power and we adjust from there. I think I lost the view. again. Oh, so close. So close. At least take that as a backup picture. Beautiful. That is a good looking cell. Yes, it is. All right, so we got it. There is a cell, a cheek cell, human cheek cell. You can see the wonderful and amazing chloroplast, or not chlor, I'm sorry. <laughs> All this stress of trying to just get in and focus. The nucleus, the cytoplasm. And of course, the cell membrane keeping it all together. Well, there you guys go. Human cheek cell right there. All right. So that's the help with the human cheek cell lab. If you guys have any questions, you know, let me know. Send me an email. Answer. I'll answer your questions. Otherwise, stay safe, stay healthy. And sorry about all the dizziness. Bye. Bye-bye.